and we back. Today we must win a championship, but the only people that can be on our team are people that we draft. And I don't mean in no fantasy draft. You know, I mean like prospects, doing some scouting, getting the first overall pick, hopefully, and drafting the next Michael Jordan, LeBron James, or somebody that can help us get to a championship. So with that being said, buckle in, because we gotta actually build an entire roster of draftees, which is probably gonna take some time. Leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Let's get into it. So my team looks like this. Uh, these are all some of the worst players in the NBA, and I lower them even more. Um, so there's that. They're under contract for six years, six years, six years. So these are players that's going to be on our team as staples until we draft well. We put it so that everybody has their own picks again. So um, who's a team that doesn't? The Lakers don't have picks in real life, but in this world they do. But it's also a fantasy draft, so... We're in a new universe, you feel me? So let's get through this first year. None of this even matters other than the fact that I want to spend good money on my scouting department because, well, I'm, I'm going to use my first pick, round pick and my second round pick, and both of those people are going to be like big part, portions of my team because whoever we draft with the second round pick will be our second best player because everybody else is a 60. So we spent our money. Our scouting department is the best in the entire league, and I'm ready for my team to go 0-82. I'm also ready for... um us to not get the first overall pick. Y'all know the way this works. You have the worst record of all time. You only have a 14% chance of getting that first overall pick. In a game of 2K, I have yet to see it, and I am not joking, when the worst team gets the first pick. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. We have 17 prospect visits. So let's scout literally everybody in the draft class. <laughs> this year, we're gonna draft, we're gonna scout as many people as possible. What the heck? Somebody wants a 60 overall player and they'll give me a, a second round pick. Yes, I mean, I know it's all the way in 2026, but still, that's a W. We just flipped the 60 overall into a, a potential player in a couple years. That is the dumbest trade I've ever seen somebody offer me. Bro sucks, and he's on a five-year deal. You just traded for somebody who can't touch the floor, but also on a five to six-year deal. Terrible. I don't, I don't even remember what team that was. Was the Hornets? Mitch Kupchak? Be better. All right, so here are awards for year one. You don't care. Okay, I don't think we won a single game this season. Let me double check. 0182, great, the challenge is complete. So the real thing is when we get the first overall pick, I did scouting on like 100 players, it feels like. So regardless of what number pick we get, we're gonna get the best player available. You know what I'm saying? There's no nobody that really holds a spot. So best player available is the only way we go. Draft lottery, we're gonna have a 14% chance of winning. Chicago Bulls. What? We get the first overall pick? That's insane, because I was talking trash about it. So I'm so happy. Okay, so the number one prospect in this year's draft is this one of these two dudes, right? You got Doyle Gooden. Doyle. There's like one person watching this video named Doyle, and they're upset because I made that face. He can't score. He's one of the greatest defenders of all time, apparently, as a rookie. Athleticism, A+. Plus. But he can't shoot. He cannot score. If we draft him first overall, we'd be kind of buggy. He's one of the greatest defensive players in the draft class, but he ain't he can't do nothing else. This guy also has clamps and stuff, but he can shoot a little bit. Catch and shoot in difficult shots. Fast twitch and limited takeoff, so he can dunk a little bit. Um, when it comes to scoring, it's all right. Lance Stevenson. Is there anybody that has Hall of Fame? All-star ceiling, Andrew Wiggins. That's true now. That's very true now, but he's 22 years old. No, we're here for, for the longest of runs. I cannot, so we get the first overall pick in one of the drafts that don't even have a star. Sometimes they be having the 85 overall player. I think I, I think I go with um, Peter Law, 6'5", first overall pick, or I trade down. Do you really believe that Peter Law is about to be, his ceiling is, is, is Lance Stevenson. I can trade down. I can trade down and get future assets. Let's see, first overall pick. I can trade down to the fourth overall pick. They want picks back. I, d I don't want Jalen Johnson. So give me your first round pick for 2026. They they yes, finessed, finessed. Okay, so we traded down to the fourth overall pick because I didn't want number one. Whoever's there at four will take, but we just finessed them. I don't even know, remember what team, was that the Jazz? Did we just finesse the Jazz? Thank you. First overall pick is the Jazz. So we got to keep track on how the Jazz perform every season because we got some of their future picks. And they giving me more offers for number four. Uh, you yeah, know, these are real players. These are real players. So no, we're gonna keep our pick. We're gonna keep our pick here. Best player available low key is a dude that's projected to go 28th. He's, he, he's might be Vucevic. 
can stretch a little bit, rebound in the subpar. Okay, who's the actual top pro? Oh my god, Doyle is still here. I'm taking Doyle. I'm taking Doyle. He might have been the first overall pick in some drafts. I'm taking Doyle at four after we traded there. I feel like that's a W. And in the second round, I thought I did more scouting than this. Oh, here are the people I actually scouted. Okay, so we got Josh Childress, the second player in NBA history to have that name if we draft him. Spa way up as the ceiling. Okay, Sean Kemp all-star ceiling for Munoz. And you know what? We're drafting him. If he could potentially be all-star potential, we got we got to take that chance. All right. So that's our draft of year one. We got two nice young players to come onto the team. And then to fill the rest of the roster, we bring in all of these, these like bad players back. And this guy is getting a big old deal. Ruben Bush, 43 overall, four-year contract. Who are you? You want a contract, Lyndon? I'll give you a, a three-year deal. You know what? Game's broken. <laughs> Game's broken. Bro is not going to play NBA basketball. We offer him a three-year guaranteed deal. He like, uh, I don't know if I can do that. That's good money for somebody that, that can't really hoop to this standard. All right, whatever. Uh, we're going to go into year number two. I want my players to, like, progress the most amount. So, Doyle Goodness is number one. And then Martin. No, 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 no. Was it Martin? No, they signed Keelan Martin for me. I didn't ask you to do that. It was Munoz. Munoz was the guy that should be option number two. Season two is wrapped. And we do have the rookie of the year, Doyle Gooden. 23 points per game for a dude whose shot tendency is not even high. That's what happens when you put somebody as the number one option. And the shooting splits ain't great. But, like, for a dude that can't really score, that ain't so bad. Look at his shoot. Like, look at his attributes. Him averaging 23 in the NBA is actually dope. Um, So, there's that. I'm guessing we have two rookie team players because Munoz, what did you do this season? He averaged 18 and 8 and a half. His splits were way worse. Maybe not way, but still bad. Um, But, hey, he, he can hoop at least a little bit. We got two all-NBA first or all um, rookie first team players. We have not won a game in two seasons. Chicago Bulls fans everywhere riot. But that's okay. Because eventually, we're going to have a draft class with a superstar player in it. Didn't we make a trade with the Utah Jazz to take their first round pick? And then they went on to win the championship? So that's not great. This is the guy they drafted first overall, and he actually contributed. That's not great. Um, I was like, hey, we might get another lottery pick low-key. Nope. Absolutely not. Here we go. Two years in a row. First overall pick. We dropped down to five. And then we have number 30. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this draft. I'm going to use both draft picks and see who we get. I guess we got three because we got a second round of two. A drafting stash. Oh, my God. This, this draft is filled with drafting stash. Now, if this dude's overall is correct as a 79 drafting stash, when he finally comes over from Russia, he's going to be not... Oh, 100%. 100% we're drafting you. Uh, wait, wait. Not 100%. Let me just take a look at the ceilings of all these other players. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay... With us being bad another season, if bro come over and be Nikola Jokic like or somebody that come over from overseas and become the MVP at the center position, I'm here for that. So this is our other pick. Um, best player available might be Tyrone Allen. He's uh 23 years old, but he can shoot the heck out of the ball. Come on, come hoop, come hoop to come hoop in Chicago. I'm just trying to get to the point. I'm just trying to get to the point where we got a uh, a win. You know. Winning a basketball game would be dope. In the second round, we might have a gym, potentially. Might be Dennis Rodman ceiling. And as a Bulls fan, if you could get another Dennis Rodman type, then you might as well do it. I really wanted this guy, though. But, hey, we had to settle for this guy. Same overall. My guy's just one year older and doesn't have nearly as many badges. But, hey, hopefully in the in the league that he playing with over there, he, you know what I'm saying, he's dominating. And he comes over and he looks great. We're going to go to player progression. If Doyle ain't like a... Seven and eight, you know, at the rookie season and running winning rookie of the year. I don't know what to tell. I don't know what to tell y'all. Yes, sir. Bro's gonna come over and immediately be the best player. He's gonna immediately be the best player. So Doyle gets better, uh, Nunos get better, and then these other guys don't really matter. But we have like players, a couple 70s. We're gonna win a game this season, at least one, at the minimum one. We won a basketball game, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony Davis, Jamal Murray, Cam Reddish was not enough because Tony Allen, I'm sorry, Tyrone Allen, our last pick of the first round with the Utah Jazz pick, he's hooping. He's averaging 17, 3, and 4. Tyrone in Chicago, he can shoot. 
Fer Ferguson? Who put Ferguson on my team? I guess that win doesn't count because they put Ferguson and then they put Justin Jackson on the team. When in reality, when we're doing roster fillers, it's gotta be bums, like bum bums, like Malcolm Hill, no disrespect to the Chicago win. Um, but th these are the players we need. I, I don't know why they signed those other players. Anyway, we still won a game though. We still won a game. And that was the first time in a couple years. Yo, the Dennis Rodman dude? Wait, wait, is the Dennis Rodman dude starting? He's gotta start. He is starting. No, he's not starting. Where you? No, he is, start he is starting at center. I know he ain't scoring efficiently. 35% from a, bro a brother that's playing the center position is wild. But, like, he filling the stat sheet. 9, 10, 5, and 4 with a block? Keep, keep an eye out on, on uh, um, Lucas Romero. I don't know if that's how... Anyway. Well, Dennis Rodman 2.0 did his thing out there. You know what I'm saying? 10 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, a block per game, and a steal per game. Shooting splits not incredible. That's not what this is about. We won multiple games this season. Multiple games this season. We're getting better. We're getting better. Two All-NBA players because Tyrone played really well as well. You know, Tyrone ended up averaging um, um, about 16, 5, and 4. So we're getting better. We're getting better. This season, we ended up with a 9-73 and 73 record. All we need is a superstar. All we need is a superstar player. That's all we need. Bro, the Jazz real life just went back to back after we traded for the pick. John Moran, you're ridiculous. All right, all right, here we go. NBA Draft Lottery. Can we get two first overall picks in four years, three years, five years? How long we've been? And we dropped to five again. You know, another day, another day at the office, us dropping to five. One of these days, how, okay, let's look at this draft class. One of these days, you're going to get like an 80 plus overall player. And I'm going to trade. See, another draft class that's like. Yeah, some of these dudes might end up being really good, but I'm looking for the draft class with LeBron. I'm looking for the draft class with, with MJ 2.0. We ain't had no 80 overall rookies yet. So I don't mind having a fifth overall pick this year. But that one time there is an 80 plus, I will trade off for him. I'll trade everything. I'll trade next year's pick if I have to. We need a star. So far, we ain't got that. I, I messed with Gib uh, Gooden. I think that was his name. I messed with you, Gooden. But you ain't really on that level. We got uh, Taylor Winnington. Would be a fun name to say a bunch. He can't score though, or he can't defend. So how are you? How are you? How are you, Iggy? Which version of Iggy? Are you current Iggy? This guy's projected to be first overall, and he's still on the board. Vic Byers, Hall of Fame ceiling, from Utah. 18 years old, 6'7 shooting guard. He's still on the board at number five. Draft him. I don't know who y'all drafted before, bro. Oh yeah, y'all bugging. Christopher Johnson, Boogie Cousins, Ilgowskis. Kevin Love, Greg Monroe. None of them is Hall of Fame, though. <laughs> Finesse. All right, okay, okay. I feel really good about this draft now. And then we got another pick. What number pick is this? This is a second round pick? Oh, we got the best luck in the world. This guy was a top 10 prospect, according to some people. He's a top 10 prospect. According to everybody. He was top 10. And here he is in the second round, still sitting there. Now, he's 23. This guy is 20. A better shooter. I think I go with the younger. I think you always go younger. You always go younger. Always go younger. Oh, snap. Okay. All right. Yo, we're set up. We're set up. Mr. Atkins from Russia is coming over. He's an 86 overall rookie. We got a dude with Hall of Fame potential. Doyle Goodness still getting better. We got Ty Tyrone Allen. Black guy with blue eyes. Crazy. Doesn't happen often. Lucas Romeo, who is the rookie of the year. Yo, we actually have a team. We ain't a playoff team. But we're not about to win only nine games this season. You feel me? We're not about to just win nine games this season. Oh, we have too many people. Let's, let's release one of the scrubs. Let's release one of the scrubs. Um... Bush, sorry, you don't you don't get to play here. Hey, let's go look at this rotation. We real life have a team now. Um, we're we're going to have to run. Doyle's gonna run small four. So this is our rotation. Tyrone Allen, Vic Byers. I'm I'm believing in you, Vic. I'm believing in you being a superstar player in a couple seasons. Uh, we still got Drew Gooden or Doyle, Lucas Romeo, and Atkins. The bench is still bad, for sure, but it's okay. Because the starters are so good. Game one, we lose. But look at the performance from some of my top dogs. Come on, man. How long until we see our first win? 
Three games into the season. You better stop playing with these bulls. Triple double for my this baby Jokic. It's baby Jokic. It's it's raps. Yep. Yep. Uh yes, sir, ski. Yes, sir, ski, Mr. Adkins. Come on, man. 20, 14 and a half, and six with two blocks. No better. We are only the 12th seed. We're getting better. We're getting better. I wouldn't be surprised if bro all NBA. Alright, I, I got a little ahead of myself. He is all NBA! Oh snap! Oh my god. So he is a rookie, but he's the second best center in the entire league. It's raps, bro. We just gotta do we gotta do everything else right. This was our fifth overall pick guy. 15 points per game, four and four. That's pretty good. Um, and then we had this guy too, who we drafted in the second round, who had the flamethrower. We drafted him because he can shoot. Well, um, he shot 22% from three. But we were only the 12th seed, y'all. We won 32 games this season. And we slow, let's slowly continue to ramp ourselves up. I think our core is nicely intact. I need um I need Adkins to hit 90 overall club. And, and the rest is history. It might take two more years, three more years. We got the sixth overall pick. Okay. We had sixth overall pick. It might take a few more years, but like the foundation is laid. The Bulls will win a championship because we got we got a star and we got to see how much better the other bro can get. Um, um, I'm losing track of names. The dude with the Hall of Fame ceiling. We got to see how much better he can get. Do what type of draft pick do we get sixth overall? Do we go to another draft stats? That take two years. Do we go with somebody that might be older that can help us out now, but he might not get better? I'm drafting this guy um, for his playmaking ability. He might not be a starter, but we needed a backup point guard. I got that. And now we can just get the best center available to be a backup. And it's this guy, Enrique Ramirez from Argentina. Welcome to the team. Oh, we got another pick? We got another pick. I don't even know how we got that one. I'm here for it, though. This guy was top 10 projected player. We'll draft him. We'll draft him. Okay. At this, at this rate, all of the bums that we started off with should be off the team. Fifth overall pick. We got one of the best players in the draft overall-wise. Will he progress to be one of the best? That's still to be seen. All of these guys get minutes on my team or get um, a roster spot. We have to bring back our top players or the guys from um, the first draft class. They're, they're here for their payday. But their payday should be none crazy. Oh, wait. They don't. Qualifying offer stuff. So look at the team, bro. Look at the team. We got a lot of players. We can release some of these players. But we feel good. We feel real good. Yes, sir. Player progression. I need Doyle to get better. I need Vic to get better. I need Atkins to get better. If we could get all of those things, then there's no there's nobody that can tell us nothing. We're a playoff team this season. How about that? 90 overall club. 88 overall. 82 overall. Tyrone is getting better. He's 25. He, he a vet at this point. We drafted him in the end of the first round. He was already old. I knew that. But he's still getting better. Uh, oh, this is a second round pick, dude. He's going to be our sixth man. He's getting better. And then our, what, what, what was this guy again? Who is he? He was Dennis Rodman. He was our Dennis Rodman. And there he is at an 80, uh, 76 overall. I mean, we're good, bro. I feel good. I think if if everything falls perfectly, we can be a playing team. We were just a 12th seed. And they got better. This is this could be a good year. This could be a good year. This is the rotation. You know, this is the rotation. 38 minutes for... You know what? I'm giving him number one option uh, priorities. He deserves it. First game of the season is a win. Oh, yes, sir. Stop it. Stop it. You remember when we drafted Doyle Gooden? He wasn't a scorer. Now he's an elite level scorer. He does that. His shot tendency didn't went up. And he's clamping up on the other side of the court. Cool. Um, This guy is a... We got great... Like overall defensive offensive players this is our rookie the rookie came in the first first time getting pt great stat line in 19 minutes all right yeah we're good we're good we're good we're good we're, we're great we're, we're golden ladies and gentlemen we're golden um yes i said we were playing team what if i told you that atkins was the best player in the nba what if i told you that bro is winning MVP. I just... I, how did I luck out? Draft and stats, dude, they looked over him. They said he couldn't be real. He couldn't be good. And here he is winning the MVP award.
we might end the video right here, y'all. If we win this championship, it's wraps. Okay, our playmaker end up making an all-NBA, um, all-rookie second team. I mean, he was coming off the bench. So his numbers weren't bad off the bench whatsoever. Okay. All right. Can we win a championship? We're going against the Washington Wizards in the first round. Washington Wizards have on their roster, Keldon Johnson and Bam Adebayo is the top two guys. I mean, we're better than them. Do I, well, first of all, let's go look at all the stats. I, I feel like I'm neglecting that part. So we had 23 and uh, 13 and 5 for MVP. Then Doyle ended up averaging 22. Then Byers ended up averaging 19, which is great. Tyrone averaged about 17 and 6. He everybody's shooting the ball very well too. Um, even the backup center, you know, for a rookie backup center, they, those aren't bad stats. Here we go. Here we go though. Why well, was I feel like we're better. Game one is a win, two is a loss, three is a win, four is a loss, five is a win. Get out of here. Game seven. Going to game seven. Going to game seven. I don't think we're a championship team this season. I don't. But we still want to win as much as we can. You feel me? And it looks like three-point game with two minutes to go. Four-point game with two minutes to go. Six-point game with a minute and a half to go. Chicago Bulls walk out of there with a victory. There it is. Box score. You love to see a four players with 20-plus points. Beautiful. And then Dennis Rodman doing Dennis Rodman thing. 13 rebounds. Six of them, six of them offensive. It's great. Second round, we're going against the seventh seeded Orlando Magic. A little underdog action. They made it from the from the play in here. They got All Star Wigs. They got Cole Anthony and a bunch of '80s. But we're better. We're better than them. Game one is a Bulls is a Bulls win. Game two, we lose. Not game. We don't need to send cash just yet. Two one, three one. Conference Finals. Conference Finals to go against the one seeded Cleveland Cavaliers. Who have Luca, Scotty Barnes, and Mitchell Robinson, and and Killian Hayes, and Franz Wagner? They're better. They're a better team, but that's okay. We have the MVP of the league on our roster. Game one is a is a Bulls win. It wasn't even the MVP. Game two, okay. No, two two. You know what? You know what we got to do. We got to shorten the rotation even more. I know we already running the short rotation. But with these last two wins, we need two more wins to win the finals. We need two more wins and no losses, and we're in the finals. Come on, we're at home in front of the great Whitney City crowd. The United Center is always bumping, especially for a playoff game. We force a game seven. What a high-scoring game. We force a game seven. A couple 30 pieces from some of my best players. Actually, Tyrone is not even one of my best players. He's not. But he's coming up big in the playoffs right now. One win away. From entering the NBA Finals. We're in the Quick and Lone Arena. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called there in, in Cleveland. We lost it. They lost. It's oh, wait a minute. The Bulls got a little bit of look, a little bit of light. Never mind. Okay. Hey, I'm surprised we even made it to the conference finals. So I'm not even tripping. I'm not even tripping. Okay, see as Jason Tatum, they beat the Cavs in seven, and we move on. This offseason is, is going to be the most important one. We have to bring a lot of players back, for one. Um, we have the 24th overall pick. And this is the year that has a superstar. I, I want to trade up for the first overall pick. This is the year that has a superstar. Let me introduce y'all to this guy. Brooke Wright the fourth, Point guard, 6'6", 210, 19 years old. What, what does this say? Hall of Fame ceiling. And Chris Paul floor. I mean, it's a draft with a couple really good two Hall of Fame prospects, apparently. I want that point guard. I like Tyrone. Tyrone been cool. But he's at the top of what he's at. We need to trade down or trade up for the first overall pick. So we got to steal it from the Lakers. I'm willing to give y'all our last year's first overall pick. Of our first this year. Another first from this year. A first from next year. A first from a year after that. And a first from a year after that. I gave up several first round picks to trade up to get the first overall. Because I believe if this guy is really who he who he might be, he's the missing piece. Brooke Wright the fourth. Fire name too. Any oh, he's actually an 83. Fire name too. Welcome to the team. Beautiful. Okay. All right. 
We also drafted this guy in the second round. We had a draft for this dude, I guess. We retained in his rights. This is our year. We got to bring back a lot of people. I'm going to let this dude walk. I don't even know who you are. You didn't play. The rest of the people got to come back. All right, player progression. Do me nicely. 290 overalls. Vic is up to an, an 86. We got the rookie in. Now Tyrone could come off the bench, and he's going to be elite off the bench. He might win six man of the year type stuff. If we keep our rotation short, I think we can win the championship this season. If we keep our rotation short, eight, eight player, eight player rotation. We were just one, two games away from it last year. Everybody's back. We're better. Teams around the league got worse. Run a good eight man rotation for the regular season. We might shorten it once next year come around. Kenridge, uh, Kenridge Williams cannot be on my team. I don't know why they even signed him. He's too old and we didn't draft him. Get off the team. Um, and then the rest is, the rest is here. Brooke Wright, show us, show us why you're the next John Stockton. Game one is a win. We blew him out. Whoo! Hey, John Stockton wasn't doing this though. He had he would have had more assists, let's be honest. But hey, two games in. Two games in. That's all I need to say. We winning this, we're winning this championship. It's a wrap. I ain't even doing no more scouting for next year. I'm confident that we're a championship team. Feel the roster would have would have screwed up because I don't want them to I don't want them to sign somebody and mess up our challenge. Season is wrapping. Back to back. Number's not even as good as last year. He's only a 43% like shooter from the field. I don't care. We're we're the one seed. We got the most valuable player. We got the rookie of the year. Show us more. Oh, most improved. We traded him away, tough. Uh, but we got coach of the year. We have a 99 overall team somehow. We did it through drafting. We did it through drafting. One All-NBA player is all we really need. I, ain't, I don't need nobody else to tell me that we good because I know we are. If you want to see stats for your number, however, seven or six or whatever, my guy scored the ball, all right? We rebound the ball. We pass the ball. Evenly distributed. We got about four people. Round up. We got five people averaging about five assists per game. We get steals. We don't get a lot of blocks. And we don't turn the ball over that much. But we're here. Conference final, or not conference finals. <laughs> I'm already jumping the gun. We're shortening our rotation because I want to win this championship this season. First round, we're going against the Toronto Raptors. Toronto has Carthony Towns, Tyrese Maxey, Auto Generated Dude, and Zaire Williams. Here we go. Simulate that round. E easy. Sweep. Cavs. I'm ready. I don't. Can, Br can Brooke. Can Brooke Wright guard Luka? Let me see. I don't even know his like, overall defensive capabilities. Oh, perimeter defense is an A. Do you have badges? Do you have defensive badges? I didn't even look at his bad situation, y'all. Uh, he's got three defensive badges, and it's not the greatest of badges. I'm going to say he can hold on to Luka to start off with. We win game one. Oh, clamped Luka. Clamped, I mean, well, he didn't even try to shoot the ball a lot. But he also got his numbers. Game two. Oh, yeah. Luka who? Oh, never mind. He had eight threes. Game three. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, Mo. Let's go. Oh. I was going to say let's sweep the conference. We're not doing that, but we in the finals. Conference finals. New York versus Chicago Conference Finals. They got John Morris Sr. They got Russ Martin, Keldon Johnson, John Collins, and Clint Capella. We're significantly better than y'all. Game one, we lose. Bad game. Game two, there it is. Back on course, 30-point win. Game three, back on course. Back on two-point win. It don't matter. Win is a win. We lose this one. No big deal. We win in this one. Uh... John Collins is like that at almost 30 years old. Are you really different? Who's guard? Who is my power for? Who is my power for? Is it Romeo? Hmm. He's supposed to be Dennis Rodman. Bro, he is averaging seven assists in the playoffs. That's that's dope. You're not getting no stops though. What's your defensive situation like? Do we need to switch that up? Box Tyler's defender hustler. That sounds like Dennis Rodman, low key. According to this, I mean, he's not a bad defender. You know what? I'm just, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Atkins on him. Why not? Clint Capella, roll game. I don't even know who their point guard is. We're not worried about that. We're worried about John Collins. That's a great first quarter. I bet John Collins got less than 20 points. I bet John Collins got less than 20 points since we put the MVP on him. I bet he do. Okay, he, got, he had 22. He took 25 shots to get there. Good game. Good game. We're one away. Good defensive uh, adjustments. Good defensive adjustments get us to the championship. It's 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 a done deal. 
Just put the MVP on their best front court player. Why? What took me so long? 40 point win in a game. Oh, we're up 3-0. I was not trying to simulate through that. I promise you. Yep. Well, John Collins struggled in that last game. We're already up 3-0. It don't even matter who's on this team. I accidentally simulated it. Um, I just get that extra one out of the way and we win. All right, there it is. Oh, man. Getting this dude as a draft and stash is like the fifth overall pick was a godsend. You usually don't get those type of players. Fifth overall pick. Fourth overall pick. Fifth overall pick. First overall pick. Second rounder. Second rounder. 30th overall pick. Come on, man. We had one first overall pick and we... Well, I guess we naturally got one. We traded down and still ended up with this dude. That was the best trade of the video. The best thing we did this video. Instead of just using that first overall pick, we traded down. Got him. What draft class is this? 2022. And that same draft class, 2022. Is that the draft class we got? That's how we got Tyrone. Because the Jazz pick ended up being 30th. Anyway, that was a blast. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe if you are new. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.